All right, everybody, welcome back. Okay, now we're going to take our form that we just made in a previous video, and uh, we're going to go ahead and program it. God bless you. Okay, again, that was my little girl. She was uh, sneezing. So, anyway, um, we're taking this form here that we created in our Access database and uh, going ahead and program it. Now, event procedures we're going to talk about procedures that run when events occur within a form are called event procedures. An event procedure is automatically executed in response to an event initiated by a user or by the program code. Event procedures are located in the module of a form or a report. Okay, it's not a, the event procedure is when you click a button in a certain event uh, in response to the event, click event. Click event happen, something occurs as a result of the click event. Uh, when we looked at modules, we went ahead and pressed F5 to run run the code. Okay, or you go to the debug menu and you run the code. So this is event procedures. Everything, every application uh, responds to events. Okay, if you go to a web page, you're gonna select from the drop down box or the click button. Okay, you can hear a death row application. You click on the button. You, you see, uh, you click on the button and something happens. Okay, those are called event procedures. So we have objects. And then they each of these objects have properties, and then they do something. Okay, like a form it has a load event, and then it's a form load procedure. Okay, we program that, or the save button has a click event, and we program the click procedure, or a drop down box, or a, a text box that's an on change property. And we program that change event, program that, that event that happens. So, it, and of course, these are private. Okay? These are private procedures and because they're for that particular form. For that particular form. Now, when you create an event procedure for a form or control, access automatically generates a template for the event procedure. The template is like private uh, CMD save click and then end up. Okay, the load like a you, you've probably seen that if you look around there dabbled around. You've probably seen uh, okay these these templates which occur. Uh, let's go ahead and see it in action with our with our form here. We see here, right click on the tab, choose design view, and then a preview. Okay, I double click on preview, and I have my, it's called CMD preview. And look at the event tab. Okay, all these events that I could, I could possibly program. The on click event. Okay, all these di different events that could happen in, to this button. Access automatically responds to these. What happens when you click on it? What happens when it got the focus? What happens when it loses the focus? A double click, okay, et cetera, et cetera. Now, normally, you click on a button and something happens. So, we're going ahead and selecting from the list here event procedure. Then you click the triple dots. Okay, a template is made. The template is made. Private sub CMD preview underscore click. So you could say just uh, just to see that it works. Message box hello. Okay, now I'm going ahead and I'm clicking preview and I see hello. So something happens when I do it. When I click the button, something occurs. So it's not, it's not very, 
it didn't do anything. It did that, so to show you that, yeah, it works. So that's good. Now I can change it up again. Okay. So the click event is common for, it's the most common thing for a command button. Creating event procedures. Now all objects such as forms, reports, and controls have predefined events as you saw in our form design. <clears throat> They they all have predefined events for which you create an event procedure. Okay, and now you can see all the events and the properties on the properties and the event tab under the properties area. Okay, now an important thing to note is like when a form is loaded, what happens? So and again, all these boxes here. All these objects, object, 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 are going to be going to have different, different items in the event sheet on the event event tab. It's like the uh, form has different events. We have a on current, on load, on click, and there are a lot of events. And these buttons are going to have different events. And this form is going to have different events. The drop down box is going to have different events. Okay. You're going to have a, yeah. You can, you can program for this about pretty much anything and then you make your own events. But if you can't find one that's, uh, that, that's useful to you. And probably you can. I mean, 99% of the time that you'll, you'll, you will find an event that's useful to you. Okay, and that triple dot again is called the the builder, the builder button. This little triple dot. So when a form, we want to program the form a load event. So when it, a form is loaded, what happens? Something something takes place. Now we're we're looking at form again, looking at form events, using form events, control events. And using control events. Well, let's see how to use those control events. So form events. Events occur for forms when you open or close the form. Maybe you want to control, okay, when the form is closing out, you want to program the unload event. So we program when the form is open, it's a load. When the form is unloaded, when the form is closed, we have unload. Okay, or we can query the form, make sure that some certain maybe they maybe they needed to save it before they close it. So the open event, form open. Let's go down here and find the form open event. So we want to see when a form is open. So on open, do something or cancel it. Now you can also double click here, and then it automatically brings you the first item. Click on the build button, and then I'm going to go ahead and we want to prompt the user for a password. So you know the way. Also, you can see when what event occurs first is by just doing this message box open. Okay. So the form open event. Now when I close this, I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to open. So to find out what happens first, if you want to do a, if you want to do a load, if you want to see what, what happens first, load or open, well you can go over here to open for load and type in load and then close this out, double click open and then load. So open happens for load. Okay. 
just if you want to do your own testing. That's perfectly all right. So now I'm going back here again. I'm saying, okay, now I'm opening the form on open. What happens? So on open, I'm looking for a, looking to make a password. Look at the prompt for a password it is. So Dan str password as string. And then it's your password equals input box. And then I want to say enter enter a password or enter the password enter the password enter the password okay and then I want to go ahead and comment this so I, I know what what it was that I I did prompt the user for a password. Okay, notice that was green here. And now I'm going ahead and saying if that's your, when they type in the password, if this is your password equal or not equal to password. Then message box message box incorrect password and now the uh, the nice thing about this look up here you see cancel as the integer. Okay, they t they give you an argument cancel, so use the argument that they give you. So cancel as enter that means cancel equals true. Some some of y'all may be wondering, well, I gotta figure out how to cancel the event. It's already given for you. Use that cancel. It's already given for you. Cancel equals true. It knows that as integer. Okay, that template is given by access already. So we're going to utilize that. True, true or false, uh, zero or negative one or one. Okay, that's what true or false is. So it's really not the word true or false, it's number. And then end if. All right, let's see what happens. So we're going ahead and opening this. It says end password. Uh, so ASDF or whatever, incorrect password, then cancels it. I'm gonna go ahead and close the whole format. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here to from customer labels. So uh, incorrect password. So it's clean. Nothing happens. I'll try it again. Incorrect password. Clean. Yeah, that's what you, that's what you want a clean thing so how if I type in the word the correct password load okay I'm loading it and that's because I have this other thing in there I'm going to ram it down so I really don't really don't need that Again, password, open it up. It's clean. Nice and clean. And all events, just, just as a side note, all events that can be canceled in access have the cancel argument. And you can set this argument to true to cancel the event, like a report when it's open. If it's not, uh, if there's no data, cancel equals true. Okay, so you don't, uh, you don't have to open it. You don't have to have an error message saying, 
A, there's no uh, no data for this report, and then try to figure out how to close it uh, or have an error pop up. You can just do it cancel equals true, and the report closes automatically. Okay, it's clean. So we have a load event. The load event occurs after you open a form to display its records. User actions such as starting an application or opening a form by clicking open in the database window cause a load event to occur. Okay, let's look at the before we before we close this and go on to the next topic, navigating through records, we're gonna look at the load event. Okay, so one more thing before we before we finish. So we're gonna go over here and look at the load event. And I'm going over here, I'm going to design view of the form and click it on load. Where's my load button? Oh yeah, here it is. Load. I remember uh, we looked at putting a message box there. Now dim st. Notice there's no there's no cancel event cancel argument. Okay, so I can't cancel the load event of the form. So I do want to say as dim str name as string is your name equals input box in input box and then what what is your name And then I'm gonna put a little comment here. Con can concatenate. This is always hard word to spell. Concatenate the uh, name, the word, and the name. So message box. Welcome. Welcome and then the person's name. Welcome as to your name. And then I'm gonna put a little little thing at the end, a little exclamation point. Okay. Gonna go ahead and load this. See it see it in action. Enter the password, password, what is your name now? My name is Eric. Welcome, Eric. Okay, so as you can see, we've gone through the, the current event and the load event so far, uh, the form. Now we're going to go in our next, we're going to take a little break uh, for our next one. We're going to do navigating records and closing forms. And then we're going to use form advance. So come back soon.